Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my videos, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and even press the bell button to get the regular updates. In the last video, we have discussed about the twisted pair cables and how many types of twisted pair cables such as shielded twisted pair cables and unshielded twisted pair cables. Even I have discussed about the application of twisted pair cables. I hope you have watched that video. If you have not watched that video, I request you to go and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about the coaxial cables which comes in the category of guided transmission medium. Guided transmission medium is nothing but for a wired communication. So the guided transmission medium is classified into three types. One is twisted pair cables, coaxial cables and fiber optical cables. So already I have discussed about the twisted pair cables. In this video, I want to discuss about the coaxial cables. Okay, the coaxial cables have better shielding than twisted pair cables so that they can transmit the signals for a long distance and also with high data rate. Okay, why it is more shielded I will discuss when I am discussing about the structure of a coaxial cable. It is primarily used in the cable television industry and also widely used in Ethernet. Now we will discuss about the structure of a coaxial cable. The coaxial cable consists of four major parts. If you look at the structure of a coaxial cable, we will have four major parts. One is the central core copper conductor, which will be useful for transferring the signals. Okay. And then on top of the central core copper conductor, we will have a insulator, okay, inner insulator is enhanced by a closely braided metal copper outer conductor. So, we will have a internal core conductor which will be useful for transferring the data. Then on top of the inner core conductor, we will have an inner insulator which will avoid the noise. On top of the inner insulator, Again, we will have a metal outer conductor that acts as a shield against the noise and also the, from the magnetic interference. So, if you see that it is well protected as compared to the twisted pair cables. So, that's why it can be used for transferring long distance and transferring the data with high data rate as compared to the twisted pair cables. On top of that one, we have outer conductor which is covered with a plastic cover. So totally, if you see the coaxial cable, we will have a four parts. One is the central core conductor. On top of the central core conductor, you will have inner insulator. On top of the inner insulator, you will have metal outer conductor. On top of the metal outer conductor, we will have a plastic cover, okay, which will be looks in a black color. I hope you have checked the, the cable TV connection. There we will have a black cable wire will come. So that is nothing but your coaxial cables. Now, according to the radio government, we will call it as RG. Okay, radio government, we have three standards of coaxial cables. One is RG59, RG58, and RG11. Okay, this is the radio government has categorized the coaxial cables into three types. So one is RG59, RG58, RG11. Now RG59 will be used in the cable TV connection. Okay, whereas RG58 and 11 will be used in Ethernet. Okay, as I said earlier. These coaxial cables are widely used in the cable television and also in the Ethernet. So, RJ59 standard is used in the cable and RJ58 and 11 are used in the Ethernet. I hope you have understood the structure of the coaxial cable and also the applications of the coaxial cable and why it is better than compared to the twisted queer cables. And one more important thing is that 
coaxial cables are costly as compared to the twisted pair cables. I hope you have understood all the concepts which I have discussed in this video. If you still have any doubts related to this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.